on the right. Hi, I'm Edwin Kaplan. I'm the violist of the Tesla Quartet, and I'm joined today by Kerwin Young, one of the 12 composers uh, we've commissioned for our project called Alternating Currents, which is a, a, a response piece, uh, not only to the times now, but to uh, Beethoven's work. So Kerwin, thank you for writing this piece for us. It's a fabulous piece, and uh, thanks for joining me today for this little chat. Thanks, Edwin. Now, um, Kerwin, you have a fantastic biography. I mean, anybody, anybody reading it would be like instantly impressed by um, all the accolades you've received. You're um, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You have music spreading across genres. And um, I have to ask you uh, right off the bat, obviously you have a strong interest in music, but what, what made you want to um, expand through so many genres. Um, you've, you've written stuff for orchestra, you've written stuff for hip hop groups. What's driving you to, to cover so much? Yeah, I think it has to go back to when I was real small. Like my dad, you know, he was a jazz trombonist. My mom sang in the church choir. And there was always a lot of music in the house. My oldest brother, he's 10 years older than me. He always had the radio on. There were always, the and back then, you know, I, was, I grew up listening, watching Hee Haw, country show, watching a lot of t TV westerns with my dad, Disney movies. Uh, we would go to operas, plays. So I was exposed to a lot of different music as a child growing up. And um, when I got older and started producing a lot of the music that I made, the, the first records I made ended up in film. And so that drew my attention to want to explore more into various other forms of, of music production and uh, getting into film and TV expanding my horizon and interest to want to write for orchestra because having a sustainability or a, a career in that area, I needed to get my chops up for, for orchestrating and um, just learning instrumentation. So, With orchestras, instrumentation is, is, uh, is such an interesting, uh, interesting endeavor because you have so many different timbres. Uh, but I imagine it's, uh, it, it must be very fulfilling to, to work and in, in, to be able to bring your jazz influences and your hip hop influences into your film music and your classical music. Um, when we were asking you to write a piece for us, we had uh, indicated that the, 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 the focus was going to be Beethoven. And you told us right off the bat that, you know, this, that especially today, Beethoven's music, the relevance of it is sometimes in question. And you even said, you know, you didn't know the piece that well and didn't, didn't know how you would, would really incorporate it. But I feel like you did a fantastic job just bringing your own voice uh, into it. So were there any struggles or, um, or, I mean, or just how, how did you perceive that, that connection with Beethoven? Were you 
trying to sort of break away or embrace or, you know. Yeah, my, my initial thought was like, you know, Beethoven was so popular. I mean, everyone knows his music and just about all of his works have been uh, arranged to some, at some, to some degree, you know. And what, what could I do with the piece that's been performed, you know, for, for, for so many hundreds of years, you know, like, uh, and I looked at the intervallic relationships between the pitches and to try to come up with a, a new spin on it and to, and to write something from my perspective, but using elements from Beethoven's quartet. Um, and so that's the route that I took because uh, for me to, to actually do a, a, a twist on what he actually wrote and to include the, mo the motivic element, for me, it would just be like, okay, I'm just doing something that, you know, I think the Tesla Quartet would say, okay, well, this is cool, we'll play it. And people listening, they'd be like, yeah, okay, that's nice. But for me, I, I, I wouldn't be satisfied, you know, because it's like, I like to create and that, that would be kind of stifling my creative uh, capabilities. So I just wanted to dig into the piece and pull out something that's there that's this overlooked and, and use that but, and write something fresh. I'm so glad you did actually. And um, the piece you wrote, it's kind of, uh, it's, it's, it's almost like a, a demand on society to, to come together around this idea, peace on the left, justice on the right. Um, it's, it, it's in a very impassioned work and I, and I love playing it. I have to note though that uh, my impression of it is that it's somewhat optimistic. Do you, do you, um, do you see, is that optimism part of your music? Is that, was it intended or is that just the way I'm seeing it? Well, there's a lot of optimism in all of my work because I'm always, you know, looking at, hey, you know, things can be, you know, better. But this piece was also inspired by uh, George Floyd's brother had, uh, um, was speaking on a news um, conference and he mentioned, he, he quoted uh, Peace on the Left, Justice on the Right. And I was like, wow, that'd be a good title. So I wrote it down and I, I used that. So, it's yeah, excellent. I, I mean, we had such a fun time playing it. And I mean, especially in today's climate, there's so much uh, racial tension in the, in the country. And um, it's important that we can have uh, voices expressing themselves uh, and being heard all throughout. So do you find that this music is um, representative of, of, a, uh, of an, uh, a voice for change? Is that how you wanna, is that how you're trying to push the music out? Yeah, I think so. You know, and just holding close to my beginnings with Public Enemy and just using music, you know, for social commentary, that's something that I've, I've never strayed away from. I, I've, done my best to maintain that throughout my career just to use music for like John Coltrane said you know as a force for good and uh, because you know it's a voice and why not use the voice of music and you know for for humanity at large uh, so that's that's been my thing and um, that's with this piece is no different oh well that's a really beautiful message um, and we're so glad that you wrote it. Thank, thank you so much for your, your contribution to this project. And um, we really hope that our listeners enjoy your music as much as I do. Um, it's, it's just such a fantastic work. Um, it's, uh, it's been so much, so much fun to record. So thank you very much, Kerwin, for, for your contribution. And thank you for this conversation today. It's been really, really fun. Thank you for having me. The commission.